On June 30th, 2021, my entire town burned to the ground. I ran from the flames, I lost my coffee shop, but more importantly, I lost my community and the town I grew up in, the town that I was raising my daughter in. When the fire hit, when my employees and I locked the door and ran, I definitely did not think that that would be it. Almost three years later, we're still living on the edge of a burned up town. We've had floods that have washed out the highway and local access roads. Every disaster feels impossible to deal with. We went through a very uh, traumatic experience with the November 2021 floods. We had to evacuate at around four o'clock in the morning. The water was basically above my kneecap. And every day, like when it rains, like if we had this rain in Merritt, it would, it would cause a little bit of PTSD in me. I haven't seen a blue sky in our town during the summer in like a few years. I'm just worried that I'm not gonna be able to have a family of my own due to all of that stuff. Like, I just don't think I would wanna bring another life into a world where it's burning and flooding and all that. Every summer, yeah, the climate impact is, it's eroding the land. The thought of thinking of losing where I grew up on since I was born, I don't wanna find another home just like that because the oil and gas companies shall, should step up because it's not just our communities having problems. The extreme unpredictable weather patterns that we've been seeing more and more frequently are impacting our farm's viability. A lot of our colleagues across Quebec last year saw more than 60% of their fields completely destroyed. In the winter of 2019, my city of Greater Sudbury experienced record snowfalls. There was a catastrophic failure of the internal structure of our roof. We ended up living in a hotel for six months. I have a lot of coping skills, but I do worry immensely about the uninsurable world that we are heading into and how this is going to impact us. We always worry when you live in Kelowna. It's not a if there's a fire, it's a when. We lost everything we own minus a carry-on bag each. I miss my grandson's rocking chair that I used to rock him to sleep in. I miss the memories we made in that house and I just feel like we've never really been home since. If we're already on fire now, what's it gonna be like in 20 years? We need to see blue skies again and we need to see you know, people outdoors more and not just sheltered in their house. And if there was a cap on emissions, we could achieve that. I'm in Ottawa today to share my story with policymakers in the hopes that they see that climate change is not some abstract concept that will affect us in the future. It's affecting us right now. It's affecting our children right now. We are on fire. And I know we can never stop all the fires, the floods, but we can reduce them. We must put a cap on emissions in the oil and gas sector. And I want Canadians to know that it is possible to pivot away from fossil fuels in an economically great way and build an economy that is best for all of us and not just the select few. We're asking everyone, every citizen, every business in Canada to make an effort to reduce our emissions and our, our footprint. It can't just be up to us. It has to be also up to the biggest polluters to do their share of the work. Across Canada, people are losing their homes to fires, to floods. We're being displaced for anywhere from days to months. The oil gas industry needs to be held accountable. They need to have caps put on and it needs to happen now, now not in 20 years.